I find more connection with my horses than I do people. Um, but uh, people do say I talk too much. <laughs> um, so maybe it's because the horses can't say, hey B, would you be quiet? I can't actually tell you what age I was when I first dug out the uh, replay on the old cassette player of Dad's Grand National and Little Pole. Um, and I remember sticking it in and, uh, and, and watching it all come up and the, the telly's had grey lines, so I must have been fairly young. My babysitter was a donkey. His name was Nosy and he was the coolest ever. And the rule was, if I get off, I'm not allowed back on. So wherever he went, I went. I did a lot of show jumping when I was younger and showing. Um, and when I was 16, there was a chance I could have gone show jumping. Um, but at the time, I remember talking to Dad and him saying, well, look, you can always fall back on show jumping when you're older. My first winner as a conditional came at Worcester on a little horse who has now taken me to the heights that I would have never believed. Um, and it makes us special together because it was Black Horton going on to win uh, Craig One at Boxing Day at Kempton. That was the moment that probably we now started to get noticed, you know. For Paul, as I was a kind of wobbly amateur walking through the gates at Ditchit, to believe in me and give me opportunities and allow me to have these partnerships um, with my horses, like Frode, like Blackie and P-Man, is incredible. Racing and with my horses allows me every day to make a different memory that I can recall on when I'm down, when I'm happy, you know, whichever memory that is. And I think that's the whole point of why we're here.